Okay, I'm just going to show you how to set the points and timing accurately on a via engine. This one's a 7, which is 30 degrees before. My right, first job you want to do is to get the engine at top dead center. I use a nice screwdriver to feel the piston. I've taken the spark plug out. You can rock this backwards and forwards and look very closely. I like to use a pair of plus three spectacles so I can get a real bit of precision and um, until you get the highest point. And when you've got that, what I do is I get a sharpie pen and I make a little note of T here top dead centre. Okay, it needs to be accurate within a few millimetres, that's all. Right, now, a little bit of mathematics. This uh, flywheel diameter is 90 millimetres. Now, you don't have to do this, you can take my word for it, but if you go 90 millimetres times 2 times pi, for 2, that gives you the overall circumference distance. Divide that by 360 degrees. That's the distance per degree. Multiply it by 30 degrees, because it's a via 7. 12 is 22, by the way. And that tells us 47.1 millimetres. Call it 47 mil. So the distance between T and the firing point is 47 mil. So I've marked F on there. Right, now, next job is to adjust your point scale. As I say, a good pair of spectacles and a 17 thou gauge. And I think you need a light in here. What you do is you rotate the points around until you can see them just opening. And you adjust them so that your 17 thou feeler gauge fits in. You've got a nice good tip, not a bent tip for goodness sake, you don't want to hurt this screw. Loosen it a bit and then you can find you can adjust the gap in between so that your 17 thou slips in between the gap. I've already done these and then tighten it up, not so much you can't get it undone in future, and double check the gap, and then put a piece of paper through the points to clean any dust off. Right, that's set the points gap to 17 foul. I'm using a, a multimeter which beeps, I've connected it on the kill switch wires effectively, which is earth and the black wire which goes to the points. This one beeps which is quite helpful. Now, what you'll find is that as you go past the firing point, I hope you can hear that. And that is lining up just right. If it hadn't been, I'd loosen the three peripheral screws and then I would lever between the screw I've loosened and the coil just to jig it around a bit until we get that just perfect. So this one is done. That's all good. I can put the cover on now with the four bolts and we're out. And a little tip for you, when you've got your Allen key, putting these cover bolts on, just tap it round with the end of a hammer rather than trying to chock it and it will just spin around at the same time again. Thank you very much, this is Nick from VireEngines.com.